hey you guys welcome to my channel my name is jada and my business is called jewel by jada and on this youtube i'm just gonna start by you know simple videos i might move into more like tutorials but this is my first video so here you can see i'm just pushing her cuticles back and exposing that protein and all the growth up underneath and really this is more like a color change so she really didn't need a feel per se but i'm just filing away that winter design and trying to get it as low as possible so i can get to that i can add at least one more bead and just have a flawless application but i um only recorded one hand so that you know it didn't get too repetitive while i was doing her nails but i'm taking my five and one bit and i am making sure to seal off or take away any loose acrylic that might cause any lifting in the future um i'm sorry i'm gonna just let you guys watch now because it's all pretty repetitive you know brb okay so as you can see here i have switched my drill bits i am now taking mm, <laughs> i don't really know the name of it but one of my cuticle bits that i use and it gets pretty deep off in there to get rid of any like to open up that space between the nail and the actual finger i'm now going in with my 80 80 grit and i'm just shaping up a little bit before i apply another bead so you don't really have to shape it beforehand if you're keeping the same shape it's just something i like to do so that she doesn't want really a curved nail she wants a straight nail so it's just preventing hmm, it's just my way <laughs> of preventing you curving but well i am still filing oh no i'm wrong <laughs> i am dehydrating the nail using my me secret dehydrator i'm using young nails protein bond oh dang i've already moved on <laughs> in the um no lifts primer but as you can see, I'm just adding little, it's probably one bead each nail. Honestly, she didn't need a fill. She just wanted to have a color change, but she's going on a vacation. So I wanted her nails to still look fresh. Okay. But yeah, I'm just applying one bead. I'm drying it out and making sure to keep that acrylic off of her skin and not flood in that cuticle area because that will cause lifting. But I'm just going to let y'all watch again and I'll talk to y'all in a minute. For those of you who might be wondering why she still has that blue marble and like some of those blue designs, it's because it is in the acrylic. So I couldn't take it off all the way without taking off that whole set. So I am just covering it up. I'm not covering it up. Ugh, y'all be with me. I am just using one cuticle bead of clear and then I will be covering it up with a black like you can see in the thumbnail so the design underneath will not show but we know it's there <laughs> i'm going back in with that five and one to seal off those cuticles making sure to get all of that sealed so that there will be no lifting because this is technically a fill and a lot of people tend to try to rush through a fill and just have it be all flat and natural instead of literally getting down into those cuticles and making sure that they are separated 
because I've seen so many girls get like the mold in their nails because they weren't properly sealed. And I hate that. We hate mold. No, no. We hate it all together, but especially in the nail. Absolutely not. So I'm making sure to seal all of those off. And, you know, you guys, I think I might actually go into, like, more tutorials for my future videos. Um, because I do have a lot of clients. I'm not even going to lie. But I'm not really good at the... <laughs> tech end of doing nails okay i'm sorry i'm old at heart <laughs> i can't help it i'm not really a social media girl like that but i'm working on it i'm going in with a 100 180 grit a little bit of a softer grit i guess finer to help really make it smooth and get those side walls real nice and straight and that's really all I'm doing right now. I'll come back in a minute. Y'all can just watch. Or wait, I might not even come back. Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure y'all get those thumbs. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, I'll be back. Okay, hey you guys, as you can see, I'm taking my orange buffer and I'm just really getting the best application, you know, making it real smooth before I go in with the alcohol spray, a little cleaning solution and make sure I get all that excess off of her skin if I did get it on there. And then I'm going to jump right into painting those nails. So as you can see on the pinky, it is black, but I'm going to make it gold later on. I put the black base so that the the design up under doesn't show through the gold but i'm gonna be honest i didn't record the jeweling process i'm so sorry and don't judge me on how the her pinky came out i told her let's use black stones instead of the gold she didn't want to and you know if you use zule i use zule's bling adhesive you know if you use zule once the stones are on there they're on there but it's okay it still came out really cute but we are reaching the end of the video i have the final product at the end and i want to thank everyone who watched this video thank you for starting this journey with me and i promise i'll have really good content coming soon bye love y'all Well, well, I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, I lied. Also, I just wanted to drop a little gem. For anyone who's, like, a beginner, I would say you should use Model 1 or Beatles Gel. That's what this black is, is a Beatles color. And I think it's a really good brand for people who are practicing their gel or just want to get better at designs. I think you should start there. Okay, but that's it. <laughs> Bye for real. Love y'all. Thank you.